It's fall in the Ozarks, and after settling down from our summer travels, we thought we'd take you camping with us and let you know what to expect out of the channel this fall and this winter. Good, Mom. I'm worried for nothing. Should have brought my Crocs up here with me. You know? Mm hmm. Our winter blankets. For about the past month, we've been using this Bluetti AC70 battery here in the Jeep, paired with the Charger One alternator charger that we installed a couple videos ago. And for that month, it's just worked. We keep the battery back here, it stays plugged in at all times. When we start the Jeep, it charges. When we turn the Jeep off, it stops charging. It just works. And it's been great because everywhere we go, whether it's camping or taking a kid to school or wherever, whenever we get to where we're going, our battery's fully charged. The Charger One charger puts out about 560 watts at its max output, and it works with a huge amount of Blue Eddy batteries, as well as batteries from other manufacturers, and we can confirm that. We've tested it with two non-Blue Eddy batteries, and it works great. It's got standard MC4 connectors that come out of it, as well as adapters that'll take it to like an XT20. Pretty much any battery on the market that would accept a solar panel, this will work with it. The AC70 is a great little battery, it's a 768 watt hours of storage and it's got a thousand watt onboard inverter, two AC outlets, a bunch of USB ports, and a 12 volt cigarette lighter port, which is everything we need to power our portable fridge, camp lights, and even run something like a small portable heater to heat the tent up in the morning. 
It's also got fast charging capabilities. So on the Charger 1, we can charge it in about an hour and plugged into a wall outlet, we can charge it in about 45 minutes. So big thanks to Blue Eddy for sponsoring this video. It's definitely our go-to way of powering our camping in the Jeep. You can use promo code WILDERCHARGER1 to get 5% off the Charger 1 and the AC70. Also check out the links in the description below for several other Black Friday deals and deals that run through the end of the year this year. Yeah, loose enough that you can put it over the tire and then you kind of push it in with your hip, you know. We're in a secret camping spot here at home in the Ozarks. It's fun to get the Jeep out. Our channel focuses so much on travel and getting out there and seeing the world and we do think that's really important. It's also really important to live a life um, that you love and if you're going to be stationary somewhere and not be full-time traveling, you need to choose somewhere to live that you can get excited about and we actually really love our town and our region. We live in the Ozarks in Northwest Arkansas and it's gorgeous. There's mountain biking, there's hiking, there's lakes and rivers and it's beautiful. Don't you think that's important? I do. I don't love that guy that's revving his motorcycle. I can say it again. It's uh, been a drought for like months. A long time. Since before we left for California, it has not rained here. It rained a little bit two nights ago, enough that we can make a campfire tonight. And then there's big rain tonight. So we'll see how long we last in the woods in the rain, but I'm excited about it. And it's fall, which is Jeep camping weather. We'll do van camping too. The best thing about when we're camping at home is something like the Jeep. You can get up the dirt trails, tight spots in the woods like this. Although the van would fit here. But with rain coming. But with rain coming, like I just the confidence of the four wheel drive, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah. We got the Blue Addy battery. No concerns about our power usage. Yeah, even though it's been super overcast and it's going to be rainy, so we don't have any chance of getting solar. That's the best thing about a setup like this with the onboard charger. We've thought about doing some sort of solar on the Jeep. Sorry, guys. This birds on a tear. I don't actually know what kind of bird that is. Because you're driving from spot to spot, like alternator charging just makes a ton of sense because you know mm -hmm. when you're camping and driving trails and stuff like that, that's really easy. You're driving every day anyway. And I just go crank the engine. In start, a pinch. Yeah. In a pinch I can just go start the engine and it charges up. So. I think also for like trips like this where for us it's just a quick weekend last second getaway having like some luxuries and power and stuff make it a lot easier to make that decision you know what i mean mm -hmm. it's just like packing's a lot easier when it's like you know you just want to move regular life on board this yeah. vehicle and go on we also have a few van upgrades to make uh, since getting home from our big van trip. We have a couple of things we want to add on to the van. So you'll also see us doing a little bit of work around home base. We're moving. Not our home. Not our home. <laughs> yeah, that's a bad way of saying that. We're moving out of our shop space. So if you're familiar with where the van was built, all of that stuff's going to come to our home garage. Uh, we're also building out, we have a guest room that we're building out a gear storage space in. And we want to share that with you guys because it's how we're going to organize all of our camping and outdoor equipment to make it easier to pack and um, 
in a hurry, I guess, if we want to. But yeah, quick, I mean, so for much a quick of the weekend getaway. So much of the gear goes from one vehicle to another, so it's nice to have it staged, just be able to like go get the setup loaded up and go, no matter which rig we're taking. Yes, all the fun stuff coming up. Is that interesting to you guys? Some work around the house. I know it's not travel content, but it is adventure adjacent. It's adventure and it's projects <laughs> and stuff, and um, you know we want to kind of go pretty big with the. Uh, the gear room. I mean, I think it's pretty ridiculous to have an entire room of your house dedicated to camping and adventure gear, which well, is exactly what we want. It will still exist as a guest space, too. Which is even more ridiculous, because so. then they just have to camp in all of our shit. <laughs> it's going to be They'll awesome. have everything they need, yeah. Let's make a fire. Yes. A beer or a not beer? A cider? No. Yeah. Same thing. No, thank you.